What is good YouTube? My name is Emir Ross and welcome back to the Marshall Consulting channel. In today's video, I'm basically gonna walk you through the three most important points you need when you want to acquire hundreds of students or when you want to basically acquire 20 plus new students each month and when you really want to open up the next location as soon as possible and when you really want to get yeah with your dojo to any level of success. Um, there's nothing else I want to talk about in this video, so why not straight up get started with it? So basically I'm gonna name those three things and then there are always some subcategories that I'm gonna walk you through and I'm gonna basically um, just label each of them as like a one to 10. So like how hard is each to do? Um, so the first one is, as you probably know, acquisition. So it's, it's basically acquiring students by your dojo. Um, and the subcategories of these are for example, advertisements so um, for example doing online advertisements or always adapting to the market and um, knowing what advertisements to run in order to get the best results to really get those students to walk into the dojo um, i would give advertisements itself so it's like selecting the right cre creative selecting the right copy and i would also include just technical stuff so for example when you're doing facebook ads that you're always um that you're just good with technical stuff of Facebook. So I would say these three things are the most important stuff. And obviously like targeting and trading ads and all of that, but I would put that in technical. Um, I would give this, to be honest, like a six to seven out of 10, let's say six, let's say seven out of 10, yeah. Because, well, like it's, 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 you can learn it. Like you can watch YouTube videos about it, whatever. But at the end of the day, you just gotta, basically learn it through trial and error and just through um, just trying things out and then seeing like all right this doesn't work so I'm gonna try it like this um, which is not that easy but I guess there are harder things here on this list so anyways let's get to the second point of acquisition and it's basically um, nurturing leads so getting people from for example a Facebook campaign once they've signed in, in the lead form to actually show up at your dojo and to be honest like I would give this like an eight out of ten because this is like well, this is like way harder to be honest than than the advertisement itself and then then getting the leads and i would give okay okay let's say it like this i would give the advertisement stuff what i was saying before like a six out of ten and i will give this um an eight out of ten because it's just it's way way harder like you you really gotta call up the leads you really gotta find find the right way to 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 really get them to show up at your dojo to find the right sequences i mean there are great softwares out there that you can use for this but it's not that easy but again it's like the same with the which has you just gonna learn it through trial and error and um there are some some systems for example that we teach in our programs with which these stuff this stuff could be super easy but yeah it's possible um anyways the next thing for acquisition is basically sales and i can divide sales and like the under category of is actually like um like let's say you do a free trial like getting the the student to, to come into your dojo right and then like providing them with the class and then basically pitching them this would be like the second point and then the third point would be objection handling so the first part part when you're doing for example a free trial once they walk in i would say i would give this like a six out of ten because it's a pretty simple you're just gonna provide them with good classes it's still it's still effort to do this right uh, you just gotta have like the right students around them in your in your dojo. You gotta have good instructors and all of that. You gotta have a good infrastructure of your dojo. But this not the hard part. And then actually pitching them, you just gotta be super confident that this can help them with their goal. Uh it's also not that hard. Yeah, I would give this like a five out of ten because, well, like after you've done it a couple of times, it's you're gonna be pretty good at it, I guess. But objection ending is gonna be the hardest one. So I'll give this a ten out of ten. Um, just because like, well, if you can master the art of objection and then you're good, like you're gonna get your dojo to seven figures with ease. Um, it's basically when they're saying, well, can I, can I sleep at night about it? Or, um, whatever. And then you're like, no, like, like you can then give them the right, um, the right words to basically handle their objections, if I can say so. So this is basically the hardest stuff when it comes to acquisition, but, um, yeah. In general sales is like an eight out of ten it's like super hard to master but once you've done it like you're gonna be good for the rest of your life probably in whatever business you want to start afterwards as well um and then last thing for acquisition we have that you make decisions based on data and that you'll leave your emotions out of it i would give this like an 
a lot of ten as well because for example especially the emotion things can be hard to master so that you don't get like furious or that you don't get like i don't know um pissed off or sad when you don't when you're running your campaigns on facebook already for three days and you've only gotten like one lead um and that you really are able to see right my conversion rate is really low at the moment how can i get this up right and then that you make the decision based on data not on on your emotions but this can be learned this yeah it's possible to learn this anyways we can get to the second category of this video and that is um retention so actually once they've signed up to your dojo like how good are you at retaining them at your dojo so are most people leaving after one or two months or are they actually staying for like one to two years or forever how long you want them to stay basically um and the first subcategory to this is basically that you provide great classes and a great atmosphere in general um it's basically almost also, I would say almost the only category because if you can truly master this, like you're gonna be good. So we could put divide it from like great classes and great atmosphere. This could be like two different points if you want. So, so great classes, six out of ten. Really not that hard. Just hire good instructors, which we'll talk about in the third point. But once you hire the right instructors and everything, it's 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 like just don't just do what you're best at. Like it's this is not the hard part, I guess, for you. And then the atmosphere thing, I'll give this like a 7 out of 10 because it can be quite hard like to really to really manage like when, once you get more and more students to really manage all of them and to really be like still available for everyone but um, and to in general just have like the best atmosphere possible at your dojo but it's possible, it's not that hard. Um, that's basically everything for retention. Now we can get to the third point which is um, being good at operations of your dojo and this is probably I, will, I don't want to say the hardest part because acquisition can also be super hard, but it's definitely a tough one. So the first subcategory here is hiring, and hiring in general is going to be a 10 out of 10. So you, like, there are subcategories to hiring, obviously, like management, team management, and all of that. But in general, hiring is going to really, is going to really frustrate you <laughs> once you've done like 10 interviews already and no, no one is, is fitting the job of the perfect instructor, right? And you're doing another 10 and still no one is fitting the job. So this can really be a pain in the ass, but it can be learned, right? And then really managing those the team and then really having like a good culture inside of your inside of your dojo between the team members. This can be hard. It's it's, it's definitely a hard thing to do, um, but it's possible. Uh, next category of operations or subcategory is accounting. So this is like seven out of ten because you can learn this, you can give it to the tax advisor or whatever. I don't think it's called tax advisor, but whatever. Um, you could give it to someone else basically and no yeah it is called text advisor sorry yeah you can give it to a text advisor so my mistake here um it's possible it's just gonna be this is gonna be a big pain in the ass um just do it right don't do any stupid shit with it then you're gonna be good and then the last thing is systemizing your dojo and basically removing yourself from the dojo so that basically the dojo can run without you i'll give this like a nine out of ten because this is like truly like like not something that you can do like from today to tomorrow that can be done in like one to two months this is really something that's going to take you years to to perfectionize um so really like with removing yourself like that you can basically come in your dojo and classes are being taught like you basically just decentralize yourself from your dojo so you don't have to talk to like every instructor once he has like a problem there's like one guy who manages all the instructors and then once there is a pro a bigger problem the manager of the instructors comes to you or for example that you don't have to like I don't know, think about your payment process every day or think about like, well, what if we sign too many students that day, like 10 new students on one day, like can we actually manage all of them, right? Um, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard, it can be hard, but it's, it's if you're not that stupid, you're going to learn, you're going to be able to learn it. Um, now, if you want to speed up that entire process of scaling your dojo, you can click the first link in the description. It's going to take you to a funnel which is designed to sell you something. Shameless plug here, come on, please allow me a plug <laughs> once at least. Um, yeah, that's a video of me explaining how we can bring you more students. Um, check it out or don't check it out. I don't really care. It's up to you. Um, our calendars are full either way. No flex here. <laughs> Anyways, if you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.